Hey guys, welcome back to another week. The announcements for this week, the first one is on November 18th at 8 o'clock we will be having Ladies Night at the Mothership at 305 Divisadero. So ladies, it's a potluck, so come, you know, with your stuffing or whatever you make, all your vegan dishes. It's all good. Come, be festive, and have an amazing time. And then our second announcement is that J.H. Williams will be doing a signing with us on December 2nd at 5 o'clock, and it's in conjunction with our book club of the month meeting which is sandman overture so you know if you like neo gaming like jh williams you should sign up for our book club because in that way you get a free book plate with the subscription for the book club and it's a fantastic book plate you should check it out online you see what it looks like amazing and we have a lot of comics to get to so let's do it <laughs> Another week, Hello New Marvel number ones once again. But my favorite from this week was the all new Wolverine by Tom Taylor and David Lopez. I love X-23. Laura Kinney was one of my favorite new X-Men and for years she just hasn't been characterized, right? Like especially like on Bendis' all new X-Men where she was just like this angry, like rage filled, like just like angry Wolverine chick. This is not who she is and Tom Taylor really like finds the character and like pretty much breathes life back into the character because she's sort of sucked for the past few years and What I like about it is even though she's taking on the Wolverine name She's a whole different Wolverine than uh, Logan and I'm super excited to see where this book goes because it ends surprise on the cliffhanger that's pretty cool and yeah and then the surprise hit from the new number ones was actually carnage now i don't i don't care at all about carnage like carnage is a garbage character <laughs> sorry for you carnage fans but i don't care um but what this book does is make him pretty much so there's a team of army guys and they're pretty much just trying to capture him and they have Eddie Brock on the team and he has the toxin symbiote. Um, yeah, they're playing a lot with the other characters and Carnage actually isn't the focal point, which is really cool because I don't know how you can make a book about Carnage because Gar Carnage, once again, is a garbage character. And then we have some more Avengers books start with the all new all different Avengers by Mark Wade and the Ultimates also as I like to call it the Ethnic Avengers by Al Ewing and they're both very solid Avengers books this one has to deal with a lot of like spacey stuff and I like it because it's Miss America Captain Planet and Spectrum or Captain Marvel or whatever name she goes by now I think Spectrum's the one she goes by yeah um, this one was, I really enjoyed this one because I like Kenneth Rockefeller's art. It's super detailed and a little bit weird in the sense that um, he plays a lot with like abstract sort of landscapes and he plays around with shapes a lot, if that makes any sense. If, if you pick it up, you'll understand what I mean. And then with this one, it's just really cool because Mark Wade is taking notes from it's not like a standalone Avengers book where it's like, oh, it's all these Avengers. Mark Wade understands where these characters are coming from right now and like incorporating factors from their own respective books in this one. Like Sa Sam's dealing with some fallout from Captain America from his book in here. And then Tony's also dealing with some of the fallout from his book in here also, which is refreshing to have because I hate when I'm reading when I read a book and it's like, oh yeah, they're doing all this crazy stuff, but it's like, where does this fall in line with their own solo books? And Mark Wage is doing a really good job at that, and I'm blown away by this book. All right, and the trade for the week is Wolf by Alice Cott and Matt Taylor. I love this book. I love Alice Cott, but Alice Cott he's known for more of his abstract sort of comics, and this one is a very linear story. It follows Antoine Wolf who's a paranormal detective who gets put on this investigation and pretty much finds the Antichrist. And, you know, it's like, is she the Antichrist? Is she not the Antichrist? Uh, there's a lot of, like, fun horror, 
horror mystic things like his best friends of Cthulhu. He deals with a whole bunch of shady vampires and like shady criminals because criminals are shady. Yeah, you should pick up this book. <laughs> it's really, it's a fantastic book. The art in it is phenomenal. Matt Taylor does a good job at like, like hyper detailed backgrounds or like pretty detailed backgrounds and just the colors that Lee Lorich uses are good too. And good book, yes. Pick this up, yes. And that was this week's video. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, hit us up on our Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, or Instagram pages at Comics Experience. And Cameron here, and see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.